Hello everyone at the West Ham Network. John T. Coleman here, stood outside Lotto Park, the home of uh, Anderlecht, following tonight's Europa Conference League game, which of course West Ham won 1 0. It's a, it's a brilliant result, really. I mean, it wasn't the best of performances, but it was, it was an important one. It was a good clean sheet to keep. Um, obviously, West Ham made nine changes, so they did manage to rest a lot of players, but ultimately, they did need some of the big stars on. Uh, late on to, to seal victory as David Moy said to us after the game it was like bringing on three star acts and it really was in the 70th minute uh, Rice, Piquetta and Skamaka all came on and uh, yeah, made a big impact whenever Rice seemed to get a ball it just gave those in front of him just uh, real real ability to, to run forward and run with intent and cause Anderlecht's, problem, uh, Anderlecht's back lines and problems and uh, yeah, it was two of those three that combined for that goal. Lucas Piquetta with a little flick, sent and um, found Skamaka, who took a touch control and then just shot a sort of across the goalkeeper and um, went in towards the back bottom corner and 1-0 um, and that was all it needed to be. Alphonse Ariola late on with some heroics. Fabio Silva had, had met a cross from close range. Brilliant low header and Ariola's save was even better to match it. Um, you know, that save could be really, really important. Of course, West Ham now five points clear at the top of the group. Um, with three games to go, uh, you, you suspect that avoiding defeat um, next week um, against Anderlecht at London Stadium, especially a win, would basically secure their place in, in um, not only in the knockout rounds, but in, in the last 16, because really you'd think they'd win the group with four wins from four, um, heading into home to Silkeborg and then away at FCSB. An interesting result there actually tonight, Silkeborg win 5-0 in that group, in that game, which, you know, a result not many people expected. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there we go. Performance-wise tonight, um, Flynn Downs I thought was absolutely excellent. Uh, special mention as well to Ben Johnson, I thought he was great. His first game in about five or six weeks and playing as a, as a centre-back in a back three, but again, again, really, really impressed with him. Um, Jared Byrne, really good. Um, however, one player not so good was uh, Saeed Ben Rama. He had, some, he had some big chances to score in the game, none more so than one in the first half where uh, Jared Byrne ran brilliantly down the right side, cut it back to him, Ben Rama's blazed it over the bar from a matter of yards when it seemed easier to score. David Moyes pretty honest about him after the game. said that while, while the club do like him and you know, we rate him very highly, the um, you know, big chance like that, they've got to start, he's got to start taking them. And I think ultimately that's one of the reasons why um, we're not really seeing him in the team at the minute. Even, even with Cornier injured, um, you suspect that it'll be Pablo Fornals playing off the left um, against Fulham on Sunday. But yeah, really important win tonight, a really, really good, good goal and a good result. West Ham fans here have been in a brilliant atmosphere, love this trip and um, you know, hopefully we've been remembering it for a while. But yeah, excellent night here and uh, it's on to Fulham on Sunday.